Hi, in this episode, we're going to find out how you can discover the R squared C address for an R squared C device. So, for example, I've got a digital to analog converter on this board and a DAC. Also, I've got a blood and oxygen sensor there and a pressure and temperature sensor there as well. These are all R squared C devices. Also, you could find that you've got a small OLED screen, it's also R squared C. Now, originally, when I did this a long time ago, a couple of years ago, I had an OLED screen that didn't work. I then discovered, using an R2C scanner, that it had a different address than the drivers or the examples that, the, that were being used were using themselves. The times when they will have a different address are basically when you probably bought a cheap clone from China that uses a slightly different address than the official one used by whoever you're getting your software from. With this one, there was various examples on the internet and with this DAC, it was showing it could be up to four different addresses. Some configurable by hardware changes, some by software, well, as in fairness, both by hardware changes and one that you could potentially do in software. But either way, there were many variations. Or you might come to a device you've got hooked up and the examples just not working like they were when I originally started working with OLED screens a couple of years ago. So I use an R2C scanner. What the R2C scanner does is it puts out every single address it can do onto the R2C bus, which is just these two yellow and blue wires here. And for every address, a device will respond so you push out an address and the address will say, yes, I'm here. And if there's nothing at that address, nothing comes back. So the R2C uh, software is very simple. It just puts out every address, waits, and if it doesn't get a response within a given time, it, it presumes there's nothing there. And if it does, it'll list up that address. So when you've got something that's not working or an unknown device, unknown address, sorry, then whack into your board just the one device and run the scanner. I'll show you where to get the scanner from. I haven't written this myself. So if you type into your search, R squared C scanner, and the one I've always used is on Arduino Playground. I'll put a link in the description down below so you can save yourself a search if you want. But once you've got here, scroll to the bottom. And we don't need the, the uh, text here. We'll just grab from where the cord is downwards. And we'll copy that. Copy that into a new blank sketch. Oops. There we go. Open up a serial port. This is set to talk to the serial port at 9600 boards. So make sure that down here you've got it set to 9600. Quite often with the Arduino setup, that's the default. I use the SP32s a lot and that has much higher setting. But 9600, make sure it's set to that. And then upload your code to your board. And when that's finished, we'll see some text appear on here and show us the actual address of this particular i squared c device. And there you go. It is that quick. It is found the device at zero x62 that means hex address 62 and then it repeats around doing the test over and over again so hope that's been helpful very short video but very helpful when you're working with particular clones of boards and you're working with other people's drivers for that particular board to actually make sure if you've got problems or whatever it is you're working with to at least eliminate the R square C address as being the problem to make sure you are using the correct address. If it still doesn't work, then you've got other issues. If you like that quick video, give it a thumbs up. If you really liked it, consider subscribing. Really appreciate that. If you want to patronize me, then as always, leave a comment below. And if you want to patronize me, see the link that's popping at the bottom now, and there'll be a link down below. All for now, catch you next time.